Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius, and welcome back, finally, to yet another episode of Kerbal Space Program. We're gonna start this all over again with part one in the new version of Kerbal Space Program that just somewhat recently came out, version 0.25. Lots of new stuff in this version, and honestly, I haven't played KSP for a really long time. Career mode has a lot of new things that were added, there are destructible buildings now, new parts, uh, science has been tweaked quite a bit, so I really want to start a new game. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna see if it uh, if it works out or not. What sort of flag should I go for? What in the world are all of these flags? I do not. And we're gonna go with NASA. Why not? Because NASA's awesome. Fun NASA guys. It makes me happy. I would enjoy NASA having enough funds to do anything. Difficulty options. There are difficulties now in career mode. This is not something that was here the last time we played, so let's check this out. Holy crap, this is... Oh my gosh, it's too much for me. Allow stock vessels? No, we're gonna go for at least normal. We may go for moderate. Let's see. Allow reverting flights. Allow quick loading. Missing crews respawn. Auto hire crew members before flight. Okay, so I feel like this uh, would not really make me feel very attached to my crew members, so let's check out moderate. Moderate allows reverting flights and quick loading, but missing crews do not respawn. We do not auto hire crew members before flight. We start off with only $15,000, I suppose. No science and no reputation. That seems pretty normal, though. Fund penalties, 150%. Reputation rewards and funds rewards and science are all at 90. Hard, hard. Uh, sure. Let's let's go with moderate because hard, hard seems a little bit too difficult without reverting flights and quick loading. So let's go ahead and go with moderate, since I know I know basically how to play the game, right? So let's go. Let us start ourselves a new career mode. What in the world is this? This is. Our money, and I guess this is our reputation, <laughs> I suppose. This is new, and this is obviously our sign to... What are these? Contracts? Alright. Very good, very good, interesting. And... Okay, we can still move the camera, that's good. So there is a new building which has been added since the last time we played. This is the VAB, as you may know. Uh, This is the space plane runway. What is this? Oh... Okay, escape the atmosphere. I guess this is where we pick up contracts? Okay, so this must be the contract building. Launch a new vessel. I can do that, mm -hmm, no problem. Mm -hmm. If we complete it, we get lots of reputation. If we fail, our reputation goes down. We want you to launch a vessel officially to start the space program. I can do that. Reach an altitude of 5,000 meters. Um... Pretty sure I could do that, no problem. Pretty sure I can get to orbit on my first try if I really try it, but... Escape the atmosphere? We can probably do that as well. Failure? Eh. An orbit curvin. Alright, so we'll just pick up all of those. I don't think there's anything particularly important in here. Now that we have all those, this thing as well is something new. This is the building where we go to try to change... We can exchange our funds and our reputation and our, and our science. We have sort of an outlook for our program. The program's outlook, however you change it, it increases or decreases individual rewards from contracts, I believe. That's what I've gotten the feeling of just by looking on Reddit before installing this version of KSP. Let's see, it looks like we only have outsourced R&D, appreciation campaign, and recovery transponder fitting, whatever that means. What does this mean? Recovering parts landed far away from the Space Center can be very costly, but I reckon we can reduce those costs by installing better transponders on the parts we launch. These units are not cheap, but they should make it much easier to find parts improving the recovery value even if they're halfway around Kerbin. What do you say? Huh. Interesting. So we can now recover stuff. That's cool. That's cool. Aggressive negotiations. Cannot afford setup costs. Not enough reputation. Alright. What is this? Takes 5% of funds income, yields one reputation for each fund. Outsourced R&D. Why do all the data crunching ourselves when we can contract external research? Takes 5% funds income and yields one science. Okay, so basically this exchange exchanges funds for science. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep my funds for now. 
and not spend my extra funds. Oh, this costs extra. Yeah, let's let's try to be a little bit conservative with our money for now, because I don't really know how much all of this is gonna cost. We have Jebediah, Bill, and Bob. I don't I don't know if I want to risk Jebediah just yet. We can look for someone. Dokal Philkus Lawson. Dokal. I like Dokal. Dokal Kerman sounds good. So we're gonna we're gonna use Dokal as sort of our test pilot before things are up and running. Very nice, very nice. And I think I think that's good. Did they change anything about I don't think they did. I think we already start off knowing there are asteroids here as well. You guys may remember that from an old episode that we did. We can see all of the planets. Okay, so originally I thought they were going to already implement the uh, the whole research thing where you have to find planets using the telescopes, but I guess not. That's fine with me. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a rocket. Do we have anything other than the command pod? We do, we do. We have several things. We have a parachute. Alright. No problem. Why why does the why does it start sideways? That that makes me uncomfortable. Our flag is like already on it. Oh, that's so cute. Why does this start off sideways now? This feels weird. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Should have plenty of money, right? Let's see. How much fuel can I put on this thing before we, we no longer have enough thrust to weight ratio? This should be fine, right? I feel like that's maybe a little bit too much, though. It would uh, be hard to land this thing, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Because we don't have any decouplers yet. Nope. No decouplers at all. Put this parachute on here. Is that is that on? There we go. And I don't think we have anything else at the moment. I suppose we can put an antenna. Let's see, where's our angle snap? There we go. Which way does this launch? I have no idea. Okay, so that's that's only three thousand. Meh. It'll be fine. Maybe maybe after this runs out, maybe we can put a. I don't know if this is gonna work. This could be pretty dangerous. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. So when this turns on, this should blow this thing up and then continue to propel us into space. Uh, we'll, we'll see if it works or not. Let's make sure that my... This is my solid rocket booster. I want this to go first. I want the solid rocket booster to go next, and then the parachute last. I have no idea if science has changed a whole lot in how we get science. Reach space, launch a new vessel, achieve an altitude of 5,000. Okay, sure, why not? Let's go ahead and launch. That's half the fun of Kerbal Space Program, right? I'm going to assume that the basic controls... Oh no, we have Jebediah Kerman. Jebediah, I'm pretty sure you're uh, you're gonna die. I don't want to go back because, you know, time... But meh. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, man. Don't don't worry. What in the world is this? Our money... Oh, all of our fuels are here? That's, that's good. And... Huh. What is this? No idea. Extend? Crew report? Transmit the science? Keep the data, sure, why not? Uh let's see, can you can you jump out and please not die? That would that would be great. EVA report. Keep that data. And uh let's go back in. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Go, Jebediah Kerman! Into the skies. This would be no problem. We can break 5,000 easily. Uh, we're going a little bit too fast. I don't know if they've changed the atmospheric stuff. They, I read that they were working on the atmospheric stuff to give us a more sensible atmospheric drag model. There we go. We'll go ahead and go as fast as we can. Why not? A 
up to 200 meters per second, I think, is what we used to do, keeping it at about 200 until we reach 10,000, but I don't know if we'll actually be able to go that high. Maybe? Maybe? Well, we're definitely over 5,000, that's no problem. Ooh, oh my gosh, what is going on? Why didn't this break? This was supposed to break! Why isn't this breaking? This is supposed to blow up! What's going on? Oh, sweet mother of god, what have I done? Why isn't this exploding? Oh no! What's going on, Jebediah? Jebediah, no! This is- this is terrible. Oh no, we're- we have to, like, get away from the buildings. We have to get away from the buildings. Oh god. Oh, what have I done? Uh... Jebediah, I'm gonna deploy the shoot. The shoot is not gonna be enough. We're gonna kill Jebediah. We're gonna kill Jebediah on our first launch. Why didn't this blow up? This was supposed to blow up and knock this off. Oh my gosh. And we are gonna land directly back where we launch. We're gonna land on the launch pad. We're gonna destroy the launch pad. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I should have gotten further away. <laughs> Jebediah, no! Jebediah, what have you done? Oh, we might miss it. We might miss it. Open. Slow down, please. Oh, <gasps> uh, let's see. Can we get a, another crew report? No. Eh. Okay, well, that was a very uneventful launch. I, uh, I really expected the, uh, this thing to blow up these, these tanks so that we could continue going up, but I guess not. Uh, it looks like we're gonna land okay. I mean, 11 meters per second, that's a little bit fast, but meh. Please don't blow up the launch pad. I really don't want to spend money fixing launch pads. That would be terrible. Uh... Oh, jeez. We're good! It's all okay. Recover the vessel. There we go. How much science did we get from that? Probably not that much. 1.4 science? And we only got 14 science, or 10.9 science. Alright. Uh... Oh, 2,339 funds from the recovered parts. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, huh? Mono propellant and solid fuel. Oh, how much fuel you have left at the end also gives you extra money. Alright. 98.0% value because we landed at the launch pad. That's good. That's good. Available for new missions. Uh, no new reputation. Okay. Huh. So did we, did we finish our contracts or not? Huh. Okay, so now we need to escape the atmosphere and orbit Kerbin. We have a lot of new things, so set altitude mm -hmm. record. Go ahead and take that. Test the M16 parachute and flight over Kerbin. Okay, we can do that. So test the solid fuel booster. We can do that as well. Uh -huh. Stack decoupler. Oh, yes, please. Please give me stack decoupler. That would be amazing. Alright. Let's go back. Now, now that we have science, I think... Let's check this out. Okay, so we have 14.9 science. That's not a lot. However... This should only cost us a very small amount of science, right? Only five science. So, some more fuel tanks and mystery goo, which will give us more science, and the stack decoupler. Amazing. There we go. Now, in order to unlock the available parts, I think we need to actually spend money on them. So, let's see. Um, mystery goo. Are you sure you want to research this part? Yeah, so individual parts require research now, so you have to spend your Kerbin bucks to unlock each of these. Owned. So not only do you have to research it, but you have to buy it as well. Um, the mystery goo is very important, obviously, and the larger fuel tank is important, and the stack decoupler is probably the most important thing. The solid fuel... Okay, and separators. Do I need wings or anything? I don't think so. This, the radial decouplers are going to be very important, but not quite yet. We're definitely going to need these things to uh, land on the moon. S this 
thing, this liquid engine is very important. But I don't have enough science for that yet. Nope, don't have enough science for any of that. So, we will do this for now. And it is time for us to test some more stuff. So let's see. Uh, no. Let's build a new rocket. Okay, so we have to test. Oh, thank you. Thank you, contracts. Yes, I appreciate that. We need to test the solid rocket booster, this one, I think, and the uh, the parachute as well. So, it's the M16 parachute. Is this the right one? Yeah. Okay. So, this is sort of a, a lackluster rocket. However, we can uh, totally use it anyway to grab ourselves some research, complete some contracts. Okay, Mr. Jebediah, I, uh, I know that you're probably tired from the last thing that you did, but we are going to this anyway, extend. I like it being extended, it's fun. Uh, crew report. This is no science at all, okay. How do I, how do I close this? Where's the close button? There is no close button. <laughs> Transmit the data. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, that apparently uses quite a bit of our electricity, never mind. I uh, should not do that. Let's go ahead and just, we'll just go, we'll just go. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. We're probably not going to get very high on this one, but I'm I'm okay with that, so... Crew report? Keep the data. So this will test this. I'm pretty sure there's a contract eventually to test a parachute on the moon. Oh, and uh, let's... Yeah, let's sort of get sideways so that we don't... Oh god, what is going on? So that we don't land on any particular building. We're probably going to land on the buildings now. It's going to be terrible. Are we, are we going to stop? Are we going to stop? <laughs> Did we go higher this time only using this? It's so sad. Solid rocket booster, why are you so powerful? The curvature of Kerbin. Is the moon up? No, the moon's... Oh, there it is. There's the moon. And uh, I want to go ahead and speed up a little bit. I don't want to stay up here forever. I don't want to die. I hope we still get full refunds for landing over here. That would be sad if we didn't. Do -do. There we go. No problem. So apparently one of the new things was also added in the the new the new version of KSP was new grass textures, but I think I may have those turned off because honestly this grass does not look new and amazing. So I don't know, maybe maybe it is. It doesn't look very different to me. So maybe maybe I have that turned off. But this this should complete two of our contracts and give us extra monies. Let's land sideways. Oh, no! Jeez. Are you okay, Jebediah? Jebediah, no. Oh. Uh, eh, there we go. Okay, so I, I realize that this is sort of unorthodox, but we're going to jump out and we are going to grab ourselves a sample. We're going to take a surface sample. We're going to keep that data. And we are going to do an EVA report as well, and we're going to keep that data. We're going to jump back into our vessel. And this should give us some extra science. Recover. So what sort of things did we achieve this time? Very good. 14.2 science. Not bad at all. The parts? Oh, uh, yeah, we didn't, we, didn't get the, uh, <laughs> we didn't get the solid rocket booster. That's sad. 
So the resource was recovered. Oh, so the further away you are, the lower the value is. But 2.6 kilometers isn't that bad. Okay. And I guess they still haven't implemented like a skill system for your your astronauts. So our Kerbonauts do not, it seems, get skills or anything like that. So, meh. Jebediah, in the future you will get amazing skills and such because we will be able to level you up. I don't know what sorts of benefits they would be able to give, but nonetheless, totally looking forward to it. So unfortunately, that's all the time that I have to record for today. If you guys are interested in seeing... What just happened to the sound? If you guys are interested in seeing some more Kerbal Space Program, let me know below in the comments, like the video, share it, etc. And indeed, if you guys remember our old Kerbal Space Program series, it was a ton of fun. It was awesome. Uh, this is actually my first time recording career mode as a second series. I just sort of fooled around in career mode when it was new in our old series. So I'm interested in seeing how we progress through it and how things work out like that. So thank you so much everyone for watching. My name is Magnius, and I will see you next time.